I'm Darren Cheney, and I own Cheney Classic. Join in as we travel across America looking for lost and abandoned classics. And there it is, sitting under an old car cover. In search of the next diamond in the rough to go down in history as a Cheney Classic. Hell yeah. Wait till I put my touch on this one. Every classic has a story to be told here on Barn Finds of America. All right, we're heading out because I got a lead on a 1968 Corvette. Ain't every day you get a lead on a 1968 convertible. Let's hope for the best and keep our fingers crossed and do a little praying too, won't hurt. Well, I think I'm at the right place. <laughs> My name's Darren Cheney. Darren Barbara Thomas. My husband and I got into Corvettes, actually owning them in 1970. He really liked it and we enjoyed them. And eventually I bought one. It was a 1969 Corvette when we were still dating. We eventually sold mine after we got married. Is the, uh, the car, now it was bought brand new from your husband? Or from y'all? It was bought, he bought it in 1970 from his next door neighbor. Okay. His neighbor bought it new. Bought it brand new. So it's been sitting in here for quite some time? Probably since 92, somewhere in that time. 1992? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> he, he was going to fix it. He said, didn't get in a hurry. Right. <laughs> Eventually he wanted to restore it and uh, he passed away this year, and so I felt it was time to let somebody else have it that would enjoy it as much as he did. I guess, do you mind if I just open the no, door? No, come on, go ahead. And go in this way? Yeah. There it is. Oh, when I seen this car, and I thought it just can't be. 1968 is my favorite. Here it is. It's literally looking back at me saying, bring me home. I can tell it's been sitting for quite some time. <laughs> yes. All right. Look at them old Dunlop tires. <laughs> this is awesome. Do you mind if I open it up? No, go ahead. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's there been sitting too long. It's been sitting. Oh, yes. It is completely original, it looks like to me. Yeah, he's always kept it. He, he was going to rebuild the engine because he wanted it all original. I go over, open the door. Mice, at least they're little, but they're everywhere. The smell nearly knock you down. But being the car guy that I am, I can see through all this. I can see through it. I can see a brand new 68 sitting here. The car had been parked since 1992 is what she said. And I believe it. I don't doubt that at all. All through the years uh, of you owning it since 19, what? 70. Uh, has there been a wreck or anything? Did you ever? The only thing he that it's happened to it is he ran over a deer out on the highway. On the front end here. Uh huh. Okay. I can't tell it. They all it, fixed uh, it back up. Pretty dumb. Well, the light had to be fixed. I know one of the this lights, side. and I couldn't tell you what now when I was in the car too. And I, I think well, it may have been this one. You was in but, the car with him? Yeah, I was that? in the car. It was a thrilling <laughs> night. Middle of the night coming back from Odessa, Texas. <laughs> oh, that's too that's, <laughs> Other than the wreck, that's a cool story. I like yeah. that. This phrase is hood, Dad. Got it. Well, we've had some friends that's been living on top of the I know. The mice are always a problem. <laughs> I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to run it down. I, I, please believe me, I'm just trying to. It is a fact of life over. around here. Oh, but I love it. When I opened the engine compartment, a rat jumped, went through over the hood, down the hood, took off. Uh-oh, I seen where the gentleman had put a little rat trap on top of the carburetor. Well, now I know why he put it there. It just hadn't worked in a long time. Lots of rat nests even got the original smog pump on it, Dad. Mm -hmm. You see that? 
check it and see if that small pump will turn. No. Oh, well, it's been setting since. Uh, <laughs> at least 92, and it may have been the year before. At least I love that. Let me look at the tags on it and see what the tags say. 1987. Ooh. BT1. Your husband had personalized plates put on oh, this yes. car. That's <laughs> too cool. Got a trailer hitch. Got a trailer hitch. Oh, hit. yeah. He, he took it to California one year with a boat trailer on it to pick up a new boat he had made out there. Yeah, serious? Yes. He they drove a it. boat with his car? Yeah. <laughs> well, after that, we did get a station wagon for pulling up. <laughs> When he actually uh, got the boat done, he spent a lot of hours in the car just uh, going from place to place in him. He, he took a trip out to California one year. Uh, he had ordered a boat that was being poured and made out there, and he hooked a trailer up to the back of a Corvette. He drove it from here to California and then drove back. Once they got the boat on the trailer, they drove it back to Dallas. They spent several days doing it having a good time along the way. <laughs> did uh, did Bob take the top off this car very much and just yeah. run it with the convertible top? Yeah. Up or down? Yeah. And you think that convertible what? It should still white? be there. I, I believe it was white. I bet it's white. Well, you hadn't seen it. I haven't seen it since, well, before 1987. Golly. Because before we moved up here and he, we bought it up here, it was set in the garage for probably the year, at least a year or two before that. Did, uh, was this kind of like y'all's daily driver back in the... Uh, we did, uh, uh, yeah, when we were working. Yeah. Golly. You like Corvettes too then, I guess? Yes. I had one that was a uh, 69 when we got married. He had this one already and I had a 69. They had two Corvettes <laughs> then. <laughs> that's the way to meet. Oh, that's, that is, that's the way to meet. That, did you sell it, I guess, a long time ago? Yeah, I did. It, it was. We had another car. We had got a station waiting for pulling the boat, and it was keeping it's, it up and everything else. It was just, it just so crazy, I parted with mine. Crazy, crazy, awesome. I think back in the day, everybody, a Corvette was kind of a dream car that you would always dream of owning one day and probably never thought we would. But he bought it when... Like I said, uh, 1970, he bought his first one. Uh, we were just dating at the time. Eventually, he found one that uh, he told me, and said, I ought to buy it. <laughs> but, and I, I did. It was kind of a competition in a way between us said about whose would beat who, who had the bigger engine. And, and it was, those were good times for us. It was, you're young, and they were a fun car to drive. You didn't stop at a light that somebody wasn't next to you wanting to see how fast you could take off. <laughs> and when you're young, you do it. <laughs> I'm going to look under it and stuff. That's fine. Make you sure go ahead. Make sure there ain't something under it that's going to get us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't guarantee that. <laughs> no, it is completely all there and looking really pretty good, actually. Don't even have an oil drip, Dad. Mm. Check out that rear end. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> awesome. The original exhaust system's all still there, Dad. Mm -hmm. It's solid. Everything is solid. If you could see through the rat feces and the smell, the car is completely solid in there. Just looking at, make sure that fuel tank. See if it's got any gas in it. I bet it don't. <laughs> no. Dry. See, when he parked it here, he probably drained all the he may well have. all the fluid out of it, which is the best thing to do. I finally found it. I finally found the needle in the haystack. I've been looking for 25 years. I have found it. My excitement is uh, it's hard to explain, you know. I'd love to say it was like my firstborn son, but nothing can hardly compete with that, but it was a close second. So Barbara, uh, do you think that Bob had bought a few things you said yes. maybe? Yes, I know okay. he bought carpet and seat covers. Uh, I think they're over in this part of the barn. Oh, I see them. 
Let's go give them a looking over. You think he had the door? I see a door panel. Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I bet he brought oh, both of picking them. Picking stuff up and cleaning it up as I go along here. And... That's the door panels. Yeah. Brand new. Just a little dusty. <laughs> uh, go figure. I don't charge extra for the dust. I get the dust free. <laughs> it's, it's all yours. <laughs> oh, no, I love that. They, he's probably had this for some time. Yes, I'm but that's sure. Okay. That's okay. That's, that's fine. I can clean the it up. The seat covers have I'll it. have to look for. I know they're around here. He's got them in a container, but I'll find them there. He's always <laughs> kept them up. Brand new seat covers in. Brand new door panels in one of the stalls on the barn. Brand new stuff still wrapped that the mice has not touched. All goes with the car. Sweetens the deal. Sweet, it's gonna make the deal so great. I guess the big question is, is how, mu how, much, how much would you like to get out of it? Well, I was thinking about 12.5. 12.5. Barbara is wanting $12,500 for the car. Total restoration on this car, even for my business, Cheney Classics to restore, we're gonna have about 20, 25,000 in it. So the car's worth to me around 10,000. What do you think, Dad? <clears throat> well, it's got, got an engine you gotta go through. And most of the parts are here and it's a good solid vehicle. Good solid. Oh, there went a mouse. <laughs> Got plenty of them. I get an extra mouse with it <laughs> if I make a deal? You can take it with you. <laughs> no charge. I'd soon leave it. I would uh, I would feel comfortable and good at 10, 10,000. I don't think so. Did you go 11? I only brought, I brought 10 with me. Did, you got any money, Dad? You got 1,000? Yeah. 11,000. It's a deal. Barbara and I end up shaking hands and negotiating out a deal for 11,000. I'm happy. I got my dream car. She made the deal. She's happy. So am I. I really think Bob would, would be glad that I've done what I've done with them. Uh, I've sold them to somebody that does that kind of stuff and I, I think he'll really do right by him. And I, I, at first I thought I never wanted to see him again. But I think in time I do. I'd love to see what can be done with him. So I'm glad I found Darren. <laughs> it was the right choice. <laughs> There's 10 of them. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. You want that Don't for it, maybe. I appreciate it. We're going to go ahead then and get everything moved around, pull the truck around, and go ahead and winch it up on the truck. Oh, great. You don't mind? Nope, go ahead. Today's fine. Yep. Okay. Ah, I'm happy now. When it's drivable, <laughs> when it's drivable, we'll get it over here and you can see it. I'd love to. You can to. see it or, or ride in it or whatever. I think I would enjoy riding in it again. It's, it's, it's been kind of hard lately. Uh, getting rid of the cars has been hard. It's the right thing to do. He would, he would really like it. I did something with him. I'm sorry. Barbara had the sweetest soul of any person that I've dealt with so far. And I cannot wait to get this car like it was when her and her husband remembered it and give her a ride in this car. I cannot wait, but I guarantee you Bob's looking down, tickled to death to see this car gonna get back on the road. And memories made with me and my family. Ready? 
Looky there, Dad. It's not easy that time. It's just a sign of things to come. This thing is going to fly. Yeah. You know, the car has been sitting in the same spot since 1992. It hadn't made provisions to ever leave the shop. So my father and I moved everything that Bob had for 30 years out of the way to get the car, to get it rolling towards the front door. Okay, Dad, I'll get you at the back. Make sure the tires are straight. Okay, it should roll. Yeah, it's breaking loose. <laughs> it's moving. It's alive, Daddy. Yeah. It's alive. We get it out there. It's a sunny day. That sun hits the paint. And I'm sitting there saying, I don't know that I paint this car. You know, really, get it cleaned up, see what it's going to look like. Barbara brings back memories, don't it? Dead gum. Hello, Barbara. Hey. We have got it. Got the title. Oh, let's look at this title. That car weighs 3,400 pounds. See what you've been moving around. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. Look at that original title, Dad. I know it. This is from back in the day. Awesome, awesome. It's never been, it's never been changed over. I'm going to try to get this original title if the state will let me keep it and still send off for oh, it in my yeah. name. I thank you so much for this whole deal. Well, I appreciate it. I tell you, it's really kind of, uh, I know it's sad and happy at the same time. <laughs> it is. Thank you so much for it. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Let's head out. I cannot wait to get this car home and figure out a plan, putting this numbers matching car back together like it is. But my goal in Barbara, I haven't said anything to her about it, but she's gonna love this. First lady to get you righted is Barbara. We're gonna drive this car back over there. If she feels like she can be up to riding in this car, I wanna give her a ride in this car. And I think she will, especially when she sees it. Mm -hmm.